Norman Cohen. Okay, I'm not sure what the name is here. Carol Chrysler. Carol has made All State in the ninth and eleventh grade, first chair in the ninth grade, All State alternate in the twelfth grade. Carol, did I leave you out when I read those alternates earlier? You didn't raise your hand. That's right, it's because of a senior. You figured it out better than me. Uh, District 6 honor band in the 7th through the 11th grade. First chair in the 7th, 8th, and 9th grade. County honor band this year. And two superiors in an excellent and festival. Excuse me, at Solo and Ensemble Festival. And I gotta say at this time that Carol's one of those people who improved this year tremendously in her play. And Carol knows I've told her this, haven't I, Carol? I'm not saying anything I don't mean. And and uh, got less reward for it. And that's really, un, you know, that's just unfortunate. But I hope she's gotten the reward of, of her band director telling her that he appreciates her efforts and uh, her grandfather requiring me to make a tape of the band so he could play it for some of his friends so they could hear the bassoon solo that she played at festival this year. And we do appreciate your work, Carol. Congratulations. Where are the plans? Florida State, and she'll be in their color guard with the Marching Chiefs next year. <laughs> Todd Driver. Todd, I can't remember what you played your first year in Marching. Another graduate from the base room. Oh, I'm sorry. Todd, and then what about your second year? Ace drum. What about your third year? Todd, don't let him mess you up. Third year? Right. Todd's one of those people who kept going. You know, some of us in our drum line who start out on bass drum quit. But uh, Todd learned and learned and kept digging. And this year was a very valuable member of that group as a snare drummer. Uh, he also made a couple of superior ratings at festival. And uh, if I remember right, you're going to be marching in the drum line at UGA next year, right? Hopefully. Yeah, they're still doing that. They, they do a strange thing. They, they make them come up there several times during the spring if they're in the drum line. If they keep coming and do well, they let them hang around. If they don't, they, they say, hey, you're finished because you're not responsible enough. You'll make it, Todd. Congratulations. Shirley made all state in the ninth and eleventh grades. District six honor band in grades eight through twelve. County honor band this year. Three superiors at Solo and Ensemble Festival. Another one of those people who made all state in one year and didn't make it the next, which is almost a, always a tremendous disappointment. Probably the worst you can get. And uh, someone again who I thought was a better player this year than last. Uh, Shirley, what are your plans? Have it undecided. Undecided. But well, you want to make a decision right now? <laughs> Come around to the altar. And, no. You got the science center later, Shirley. We've enjoyed having you in our band, too. Congratulations. Refresh my memory, you weren't in the band the 10th grade year, right? I've been teaching 24 years. I think Monty's the only student I ever had who quit band between junior high and high school and then came in to me and said, Mr. Baldwin, I want to be in the band next year. Came in that spring. He said, I made a mistake. I wish I had stayed in the band. Will you let me in? I almost laughed when he said that part. And I'm going to tell you, he's made a tremendous contribution, but I can also say this, his life would have been real empty without the band the last two years because he's always been one that enjoyed it. And uh, we've appreciated all of his efforts. He's been in the honor band. He was in the honor band the ninth grade year, dropped out that year, and that didn't help, did it? And he came back and was in the honor band again this year as a senior and also was in our solo ensemble festival with an excellent rating. Monty, we appreciate your work. And you're going to be one of those Uggas, too. No, another UGA person. And in the
terms of where are you in Jesus? In G here? Maybe not. Okay. Eve lied. I like talking about this one. I started Eve in fifth grade on clarinet. Eve didn't want to play the clarinet. <laughs> Mr. Biffle likes to claim that he taught her. <laughs> and I didn't. Salvage. It's the first year that's... No, you didn't salvage any. <laughs> It's the first year, it's the most important year of a student's career in band. And I gotta tell you, Eve was one of the most natural clarinet players I've ever seen. I bet those people who are sitting out here who were in that class will remember how easy it was for her at the beginning. And she still didn't want to play the clarinet. At the end of that year, she says, Mr. Bowman, could I change instruments? And I said, no, that's impossible. And uh, then she left and went to Lake Harbor. And I later heard Mr. Biffle say she wanted to quit, but he wasn't going to let her either. And uh, it's because Eve was born with a talent for the clarinet. And there's just no doubt about that. Some of us get it through hard work. And I'm sure Eve's done some of that. But she also was blessed with an awful lot of natural talent. Uh, she's been in the All-State in the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. 12th grade years. Tremendous accomplishment. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, she made governor's honors in music in the 10th grade year. Uh, District 6 honor band 7 through 11, first year 9 and 10. She's been in the county orchestra. Or is, is that this year? If I got that mixed up, or this year? Uh, and this year received three superiors at festival. And Eve will be, I believe, at the University of South Carolina next year, also playing in the band. And I may be majoring in music, I'm not sure about that. Congratulations, Eve.